Hey YouTubers, this is Music Flow, and um, one I've I've gotten lots of requests lately of what to see in my videos, so um, I'm just gonna type in the new project, and they wanted to see what tile sets I have for the main world. Like if you if it's in a main city, then you go out to the main world where you have your quests. If you've ever played anything like RuneScape or anything like that, you walk out into the main world and then you have your quest, you have your fighting stuff on one side, and it's just really big. So I'm gonna show you how to make the main world. Um, okay. I have some I already have some pre made uh, graphics that I made, so I'm gonna type for the width, I'm gonna make it 40, 50 actually, and then for the height, I'm gonna make it 45. Ah, okay, and then BGM, the, um, I'm gonna make it, let's see, no, because that's my startup music. Number 19 is field 2, that's what I'm using. Alright, um, so here's a tool I haven't shown you yet. I forgot to show you how to use the tools. So, um, after you select something like the grass, and you go to layer 1, you see these, um, little tools up here. Well, the rectangle means you can take the rectangle and you can go from side to side like that, like make little rectangles. And then for the circle, it has a little circle. It makes circles like that. Let me see if I can get a better one. Yeah, circles like that. And then for the little paint, it's called flood fill. You just click it on the white spots and it fills everything up. All right. So, um for the graphics that I use, I will put the, I will um upload them to Mediafire and so that way they'll be free for y'all to download. Um but and then I'll show you just so go ahead and go to the uh description and the link and I mean go to the link in the description. <laughs> And then um, go ahead and download those graph, those tile sets, and I'll show you how to put them up there. So, all right. So um, now, once you've downloaded them, put them on your desktop, and then I just like to put them right there, and then go back to your um, RPG maker. In case you haven't noticed, I have a bad mouse, and I have to hit it all along, so it'll start working again. So, anyways, um, go to materials, all right, and then or the material base. Um, after you've downloaded it, make sure you've downloaded the graphics. And then um, it's under graphics slash tile sets. So you click that. And then you press import. And now go to the, um, go to your desktop where you've downloaded the graphics set. And it should be main world. Then press open. Okay, now you see the graphics. Now right click on the green, I mean left click on the green spot, then right click on the green spot so that we have both of them. And then press OK. <coughs> and now you should see it right there. Alright, now go ahead and close that. Now go to database, or F9 I believe it is. And then go to the, your tile sets. And then scroll down, and then press change maximum. And then change it to 51. And then press OK. Now you have this whole new blank thing and then there's nothing on it. So um press tile set graphic we'll name it first, name it main world. Alright, then for the tile set graphic, you should see your main world right there. It should be red. And then click it. And there you have it, your new graphics. But now if you ha let's go ahead and press apply. If you haven't noticed, um on say the forest town wherever you walk into a house you can't walk on it that that's what those x's mean and for the o's means you can walk on it or behind it um and now for the passage that shows that you can walk behind it um the priority you need to go two three four and five it depends on how high it is so that shows that you can walk behind it all right <coughs> so go to 51 and then for the auto tile graphics we're going to choose um ground one, ground two, water one, and then press road two, and flower one, just go through here and find them, I don't feel like waiting for you, and then waterfall one, and then for the last one, uh, just choose any one you want for the last one, but for me I'm going to choose lava 
all right and that's going to be my tile set those are the auto tiles now um go to passage and then just start xing off all of the uh walls and all the benches anything you don't want to walk onto walk on that don't want to walk on the top of the benches don't want to walk on the barrels anything like that don't want to walk on water or the flowers um can't walk on those and then just start xing off everything you want you don't want to walk on and you want to walk on the stairs but you don't want to walk on these so um after i have them all xed off i'll unpause it Alright, so um, here's all my things I've marked off that I don't want to walk on. Um, if you've noticed, I haven't marked off the tree and I haven't marked off the base of the door because you always walk up to the door to go to transport uh, to the next room. So don't mark off the base of the doors and um, the base of the benches because you want to stand on those to sit down. And don't mark off the stairs, um, just all that stuff. And now for the tree, we're only going to mark off. Oops, we're only going to mark off the bottom four. Well, you know, at the bottom too because that's where the stump is. Alright, and um, now for the tree, if you set down, I'm going to go ahead and press OK, and then I'm going to change my map. You don't have to do this. And then it's right there already. So here's my main world. Now, if you click on the tree, uh oh, if you click on the tree, um, you'll be able to walk on top of it. So we don't want that. So go back to your database. If, you, if I hope you didn't exit out of it, but if you did, go back to it and go back to your main world. And for the priority, for uh, for uh, the bottom, starting at the bottom where the green is, just right above the stump, mark off all of those on one. Then click twice to mark off all of the next one twice. Then do then make it three times. Uh oh, if you mess up, just start over. It goes up to five. So make that three. Then make it four. And there you have the tree. Now you'll be able to walk behind it. And we want to walk behind that. Um, we want to be able to walk behind the roof if we get up there. I mean, if we if there's a path behind it and the house is blocking it. Uh oh. So you want to be able to walk behind that. Just all the stuff, and then um, you want to be able to walk behind the table. So make those one. Just all that good stuff. You want to be able to walk behind the. Uh, bushes and stuff like that um, like that so then press OK once you're finished and you should have it there's your new graphic tile set alright thanks for watching